Welcome back everyone. Today is a video that I'm super excited about. It is trying a bunch of different cold brews. I am a cold brew stan. I actually have been one longer than I think most people have. Like I think I liked cold brew before it was popular. I'm not kidding. Like when? Like in 2017, I feel like nobody liked this drink except for me. Starbucks came out with that toasted coconut cold brew and I was obsessed with it. I was living for it. They only had it that one summer, never brought it back again. And then in the next year or two, like two years later, they made that salted caramel cream cold foam one. And now everyone's obsessed with cold brew. I feel like I like cold brew. I think I'm just in my head about it. But I am a cold brew stan. <laughs> I love it. And we have so many to try. Ooh. Um, I thought of this idea when we were in the grocery store and I was like, there are so many cold brews like in the coffee aisle, like so many canned and bottled cold brews because it's more popular now. And I've always, I'm an OG cold brew stan. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, and we're filming in our room because we live with other people and I'm trying to be respectful of the common space. So that's why we're drinking cold brew in our room and filming in here. I thought it would look weird, but we're not in the kitchen. <laughs> So, are we excited? Yeah, nervous to not sleep tonight. I know. So, also, <laughs> another thing is, too, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different cold brews here, all different brands. Um, but I think we're going to try a few of them, and then it's all going to be one video for you guys, so it'll feel like all in one sitting. But I think we're going to do this the course of two days, because I thought about cold. that. I don't want to waste it. Yeah, I love cold brew. I cannot waste any of these. It's really the canned ones. Like, the bottled ones, you can drink part of it and put it away. Um, but the canned ones, yeah, no. No, we're gonna do a couple today, a couple tomorrow. So yeah, I don't know which one I wanna start with. I actually have only tried one of the bunch of all of these, so it's all gonna be brand new for me. Yeah. So which one do you wanna do first? Uh, I don't know. I wanna do this oatmeal one. Okay. So first things first, there's this guy here is the first one we're gonna try. It is called Rise Nitro Brewing Company, oat milk latte, nitro, cold brew, coffee, dairy free. Wow, I don't know why that was so difficult. Oat milk's actually really good. Oh my God, that's gonna be so ASMR with my mouth. <laughs> be careful, don't break your nail. I don't know why it did that. Um, it's like Dasani. Yeah. Try it. <laughs> Obviously doesn't like I it. Know, it doesn't have a strong start there. It's a little too oaty. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I and want I it to taste more coffee. Like, bad. there's definitely like definitely more oat milk than coffee. Naturally like. sweet, low audacity. What is low audacity? Like? Low acidity. Low acidity. <laughs> low acidity. I thought I said low audacity. Clean energy. One cup of coffee. That's all Not this is. Bad. Energy wise, can you even call yourself cold brew? I like it. We've made cold brew on our own. Not as good as our own. This is a lot of oat milk in it. Blech. I want more coffee. Yeah, if you like oat milk, here you go. Um, starting out strong. So you wanna pick the next one? Or you picked the first one, didn't you? Yeah, let's do this one though, you picked it. Boss Coffee. Okay, here, I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the next one we're gonna do. Um, it is from Boss Coffee, Flash Cold Brew, brewed hot, chilled fast. So I guess that's what the flash means. That's not really cold brew. No, okay, so since cold brew is popular, I feel like people just call anything cold brew. Like, they have cold it's brew cold, yeah, at Chick-fil-A, but I'm pretty sure it's just iced coffee. It's really good, um, yeah. by the way. It's really good, but I'm pretty sure it's not cold it brew. Like cold brew, right? Um, do you guys don't know? I feel like most people who are watching it Yeah, this isn't like even cold brew. Cold brew is. okay, it doesn't even say cold brew on here, babe. Okay, it's with, it was with the cold brews at the store. Okay. My bad. We're not doing that one, then. Why? We'll do it tomorrow, maybe. Because it's not even cold brew. It doesn't fit. Maybe, though. It doesn't even say cold brew on Whatever. It. Let's just try it. Or do you want to skip it? Skip it. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. This one was, like, all dented, too. I shouldn't have bought it. I think it was, like, the last one left there. It was, like, on a closeout sale or something. That's what happens when you don't read kids. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's probably just coffee. It's like vanilla iced coffee. This one's gonna be disgusting. I don't know if we should try this one. 
What do you want? Well, we're gonna try them all, so just pick one. Yeah, so ingredients, bulletproof coffee, water, coffee, brain, octane oil, Burn. highly refined coconut oil, grass bread, butter. Oh God, this is gonna taste bad. I've literally made this for you before and you were like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. When we were in Lake, yeah. When, should when we, we do this one today or should we? It seems like you don't wanna do it, so. No, do let's it. just do it. So here's our next one. It is a little bit different from the other one. It's the bulletproof coffee. The one I make is better. <laughs> God, I mean, but that's what it tastes like. It tastes like a different version of it. It's just like the proportions are different. You're not gonna like it, I promise. But try it, you have to try it still. So. It tastes like dirty coffee. Like dirty water. <laughs> yeah, it does coffee. taste like there's dirt in it. Probably all that grass fed, but butter. That's sick. <laughs> Yeah, the one that I make is definitely better. They kind of left the beginning, beginning of this video. I was like, I'm a cold brew stan, and then I like Apparently hate not. everything. You're drinking. a Starbucks cold brew stan. So the next one is from High Brew Plus Protein, and it is the milk chocolate flavor. They have one that's like Mexica, Mexica, Mexican vanilla, and I thought I grabbed that one, but apparently I just got the milk chocolate one. This brand seems like they have a lot of cool flavors. Like it's gluten free. Just stick with the Starbucks thing. Yeah, it's like good. it was really trying to. Like, I don't I like chocolate be better. in my coffee in general, though. So like, that's not bad, but I would not take that one. I feel like it was really trying to be like chocolate, but then they're like, when it came to like the sweet part of chocolate, they're like, mm, nah. It's like, you know that powdered like just, cocoa. It's just cocoa powder, yeah. Yeah, and you taste it, and you're like, ew, this doesn't taste like Nesquik. It's like not even sweet. That's what it sounds like they put in there. Feels like, tastes like they put in there. Oh my That's god, I'm making is. this video horrible because I don't I honestly think tomorrow we're mm -hmm. gonna have a good day. Okay, if so far, if I had to say which one was the worst, it would be the bulletproof. Definitely. I honestly didn't count. hate the, the, the boss gobby. Hi everyone, I have a great news to report. So I was cleaning our room, it's a disaster because you know we were filming in here, trying all the cold brews, the ones that I loved so much in my absolute favorite one. I was gonna put it back in the fridge so Brandon can drink it later because he kind of liked it and you know, it has the lid so we could save it and drink it tomorrow. Um, it says enjoy by April 10th, 2020. Today is May 7th, 2020. Like, this shit's a month old. A month overdue, I should say, not old. It's probably like a fucking year old, I don't know. So yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna go check the labels on all of these, but yeah, um, sick King Supers. That's great. I guess it's probably not their bulletproof's fault, but um, yeah, that's that's wonderful. How sweet, how sweet of them. Bye, girl. Actually, I think this is recyclable. Welcome to the second part of this video. Uh, this is like literally weeks or maybe even a month later, a long time later. Yeah. I filmed the second half of this. We did it like the next day and the audio just stopped working on it. So that was super annoying. So yeah, new setup, new day. I got four new cold brews um, and we're just gonna jump into it because I really just wanna get this. Are any of them expired this time? Hopefully not. Okay. We're doing it. So, um, Dope protein cold brew coffee, low in smoke, slow, smooth taste. It's like one of those big, big ones. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a protein cold brew. So you like this one. I forgot what this tastes like. It's kind of more like chocolate milky to me. That's not bad though. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. That's really, really good. This would be good if you like mixed it in something too, like a, like a smoothie, I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know, it's got a lot going on with it already, but I do like it. Um, you already had some this morning. Yeah. So this one's La Cologne Coffee Draft Latte made with oat milk, vanilla flavored. I, I don't know. Good? Yeah. It's mm. like not bad at first, but you kind of taste that like. It just tastes like, oat, like a latte made with oat milk. Nothing super special. I like it though. Um. I guess I didn't rate these. This one I like better than the La Colombe. I like, I like this I, one better. I like this one better. Do you? You can drink the rest of this if you want. It's like a good texture though. I like the texture of this. This is really good too. It is kind of like chocolate milky. Um, yeah, I think I'd give this one like a 7 out of 10. 
6 out of 10, 7. And then this one maybe like a 5, I don't know. What do you think of those two? Uh, like out of best coffee I've ever had? Cold brew. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. I give them like 6s probably. Next one. Seven. High brew, black and bold. So this one's gonna be plain, plain, 10 calories. So, I don't think I liked, I forget what kind we got last time of this high brew one, and I feel like I didn't love it. Yeah, I, I thought it was, uh, wasn't it like a spicy one or something? I like spice to it. No, that was the chameleon. Oh, okay. That would be good. Like if I put a little bit of cream in one or something, I think it'd be good. Oh yeah, that's just like regular coffee. It is, it's like the... <clears throat> I didn't realize sweet. there was nothing else. Yeah, yeah, it's like black. I wasn't ready for that. It's a little palate cleanser. And then yeah. lastly, we have... The one that I actually really like is that honey one from Starbucks. Yeah. Well, let's see this one. Um, I'm just telling you. <laughs> uh, this one is <laughs> the Simply Organic Vanilla Cold Brew. Yeah, Simple Truth Organic. Vanilla. I think I liked the one that we tried last time with this guy. I, I don't remember if it was vanilla or not. Can't remember. I should have seen it. It said shake. I'm sure it doesn't make that big of a difference. In the end. It's weird. Okay, so the ones that don't have enough flavor, I'm like, oh, it doesn't have enough. But this one's like, it's okay. Super. It's not very coffee. Vanilla. -y. I would honestly like mix these two yeah, that'd be good to like actually. distill this down <laughs> i'm not gonna do that after this video is over yeah. um but yeah that's it i don't even remember i'll have to answer to know what my favorite one was because the first half of this can't video like i can't even yeah which is annoying i'm really sorry about that but i think i like this one more though. i like that one you do even mm -hmm. these two would be good mixed yeah i'd say you could mix them a little more coffee with this this one's a long it's like, instead of vanilla, it's a little more booby, but... Out of all of these, this one's my favorite. Of just the ones we just tried now. Um, and it's this one, and it's pretty reasonably priced, I feel like, for all of that. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it to the end, I was exactly... You're just saying, yeah. So <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, what was your favorite? That one? Yeah. Okay. Well... I don't recommend any of these, so <laughs> except for this one probably. Yeah. I mixed those two. I mixed the simple truth vanilla. When I was pouring it in there, it was like super light tone. There's milk in it, um, and so super vanilla y. But then I put it with the black high brew in my Starbucks tumbler. Also, guys, I did these ombre. Wait, is that the bad hand? No, that's the good hand. I did these ombre nails all by myself with my dip kit, which is freaking awesome. They look like I got them done. But. Yeah, this is good actually. This is really good. Do you want to try it? Yeah. It's like the perfect amount of a little bit. It's definitely more strong. Like I taste more high brew in that than I taste yeah. that simple truth. It's better than they both were individually. Yeah. Success. All right. Well, that is it, you guys. I hope you liked this video. Hopefully, you got some good recommendations. Even if I don't like them, hopefully, I described them well enough. So then, if that's something that you're really into. There you go. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys want me to try any other ones. I think I, I would prefer after doing this, I think it'd be really, really fun to go to popular coffee chains and maybe even like local ones and try a bunch of those cold brews. Thank you uh, for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.